morning guys, it's been a year, my pre-order DX Boltus 5 is finally here. So, you got DX Soul of Chodokin, Volt in the box, Voltus 5. And here we go. I love the way Bandai wrapped their uh, product just to prevent the main uh, art box from getting scratched. The actual box of the DX Voltus 5. Five. So there we go. We have Boltis 5 right here and the box art is been on it's I mean it's beautiful. And on the back we have all the weapons here, accessories. And the famous Boltis 5 sword. Right here we have the the V and the stand and the base stand with all the uh, volt machines. And from the looks of it, the stand has uh, five sound effects. You can see the buttons right here. And let's go. Let's open this up. Wow, look at that. It's massive. We got the main bolt machines here and some accessories. And place on a bit in a huge styrofoam. And we got some more accessories placed on a clamshell plastic container. The big V. We have the belt accessories and extra hands. Came with batteries so that you don't have to go out and buy batteries. And we have the display base. We had a manual right here. It's a nice size booklet. And there we have it guys. The 5 volt machine and its pilots. A close up look of the 5 volt machines. And the pods or cockpit block they are color coded just like on the anime we have kenichi or steve armstrong we have daijiro or big bert we have kiyoshi as little john we have epe mine mark gordon and last one migumi oka or jamie robinson and here we are we have the volt cruiser and we have the cockpit block or the pod you can actually insert the block or the pod inside like that and nice this uh, volt cruiser or the head of the Voltus 5 have an on off switch to activate the gimmick got on to activate it, the switch is inside so what you're gonna do is gonna pull this there we go lift this up and the switch is right here. So press that one. So that's the sound. To turn it off, it's either you can turn up through here or disable it from here there we go and uh, we had uh, three functional landing gears there you go there all right we're gonna head with the accessories we got the uh the wing blades right here and we got the front blade and the replacement uh vent once uh you transport you combine it into Boltis 5 so on the uh, vent it's easy you just have to pop this out there we go and replace it with this one just like that so now on the wings there is a peg so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull the wing down work it out there you go and we're just gonna put it right there pop it back in so you have the blade right there and the next one would be 
this blade on the front so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fry this sim right here and actually you have to uh, pop this up. you have to pull this up there we go and pull this up so so that uh, this part right here is free so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that and pull this down and be careful there we go and place that there make sure it sits tight there we go and just close it and there we have it and the way to transform the head pull this part make it make sure to hold it there we go and lift this top piece like that and rotate it down until you hear a small click and put this down like that and the last part is you're gonna rotate it up it's a little bit hard since it's brand new it's a little bit hard to do it but don't be scared just be gentle there we go and we have the head there we go bolt cruiser taking off we have the volt bummer and the pilot we have it here so same thing with the bolt cruiser just place the pilot inside there close it nice click that means it's in this one doesn't have any uh, electronics we have a retracting uh, landing gear first there I'm gonna push it down close this and push this down oh before I close it don't try to force this uh, landing gear out because it's spring loaded there's actually a switch here what you gotta do is just press this out there we go and it's out close it down close this close we have to take this piece out there actually this is the only piece that you have to take out if you're gonna combine it and there is a locking mechanism right here you just have to pry it out there we go oh actually there we go just pop it out this is die cast right here this uh, shoulder joint it's actually a ratchet uh, die cast joint so what you're gonna do is there you see you hear the click and then raise that up and lower that down so make sure this piece right here is on L shape and do it on the other side there there we go and next the cockpit just push it down so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this this uh, lower rib, lower forearm armor down there and you have the hand and the fingers are articulated there. pull it until it locks there and next is you're gonna pull this down there we go volt bummer taking off next we have the volt panzer same thing the cockpit is functional inside I'm gonna close that and there you go and pop now we have the uh, panzer claws there we go there it actually can extend a little bit there there and the claws you can open it up just be careful because it's real tight so that this caterpillar tracks is uh, these two are rubber and the wheels the road wheels are plastic it's functional there as you can see we're gonna convert it into the upper body so first is we are going to move this 
rotate like that, like that, and open this up like that, and pop this in. Just press. There we go. There. There is a locking mechanism here. There. What you have to do is just pop it in. If you hear a good pop, that means it's in. There we go. Pop. We're just going to push this cockpit in. There. Grab this uh, piece right here, here in the side. Click. There. This thing actually has a sound effect. And the battery is right here. Uh, three batteries that uh, Bandai provided us. There's an on. See? There you go. There's an on off switch right here. There we go. It's locked. So once you dock the uh, bolt frigate here, this one will be pushed all the way in and that will activate the sound. There we go. Now, if you uh, insert the uh, volt bummer, there is a switch here and it, it will activate the sound also there oh before i forget let me you have to open this up this little piece there we go there because this piece is gonna connect to the volt frigate so don't forget that to pull the uh cockpit it's either you use this by there you go try it by pulling it out and just pull it to the side if you have tiny fingers or it's just way to do is just poke your finger inside right there easier there and then pull this put this back in this one right here the uh part of the sky sword of the bolts five is connected be uh through magnet it's a very strong magnet so be careful there we go there's a two magnets right there and there's a metal piece right here where the magnets connects Put it back. There you go. You can click. Bolt pouncer taking off. Next, we have the bolt frigate and the cockpit block or the pod. So same thing. You just have to put put this in. There we go. And close the cockpit. This thing has a sound effect. Same thing with the bolt pouncer and the bolt cruiser. We have retractable landing gears. So let's get on. You're just going to pull this out to retract the landing gear push the landing gear down that and there we go all the way in same thing with the other one in there there we go push there we go and push the front landing gear there this one it's actually retractable what you're gonna do is it's either you push it throw here like here like that or you can hold this uh, uh, radar dish just be careful not to break it and this is the locking mechanism for this uh, part right now you can see I'm trying to pull, uh, push it that means it's locked don't force it what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this down there and there we go and it's locked and it's actually have a opening bay that close and open and do the same on the other one there we go and there to release the radar dish you don't have to actually pull it up just press this like that and it will pop out next part is the cockpit same thing just pull up push there and the wings fold there and we have a linkage right here that holds the legs together when it's on the uh, volt frigate mode. What you're gonna do, pull this out and hide it like that. There we go. And we have an on off switch right here, a sound effect. So once you connect the volt lander, there will there is a sound effect. So you're just gonna push this. There we go. And other one. There we go. And also, you have to push this in it will lock you have to push it in after you insert this to the volt panzer if not if you lock this hip part right here before uh, 
connecting it to the bolt fencer, you're gonna have a hard time because this piece right here is the one that locks or that secure this to the bolt fencer. And there is a button right here to release the lock. Just press. There we go. Other one. Other side. There we go. It's not spring loaded. And to uh, pull the cockpit, there is a leverage here. So you're just going to stick your finger or fingernail and pull it out. There. And cockpit is out. There we go. To release the radar dish up, you have to uh, just press this down a little bit. You don't have to actually pull it up. Just press this like that and it will pop out. It's spring loaded. So easy piece. Now we have the last piece for the bolt machine which is the bolt lander and the core block or the pot. Actually it has a two cockpit there. You can place it whichever you want but you want to be anime accurate the uh, block is plate is here on the left side there we go and close there so this is the volt lander actually the wheels are functional it can roll and we have the weapon right here just flip this over and we have the drill there we go We have a little piece antenna right here and the two landers are connected via magnet so you don't, you don't need any force to separate it to so just there two magnets so that's uh transforming what you're gonna do is first you're gonna push this uh, wheels up there make sure this uh plastic piece right here is elevated the wheels are plastic i thought it was it's rubber and Pull this down right there. There. There we go. Now it's locked. And remember the on the anime, the pod rotates. You can actually do it here by rotating this gear right here. I don't have any long fingernails, so I'm just going to use this. There. So same thing with this. There, so you have your two leg, uh, feet. Volt lander taking off. Alrighty, guys, this is the Falcon base with the five volt machines, and also we have the Red Falcon and the Saucer. That's an extra. Finally, I have a Voltis Five. Before. I was contemplating if I would get the regular release uh, sold to Joken GX uh, Voltis 5 or the 40th anniversary Voltis uh, 5 sold to Joken, but people are selling it off the roof. So my weight actually paid up. <laughs> I'm able to get the premium DX sold to Joken Voltis 5. There we go. We have gimmicks on the uh, display base. Right there, you have number one through five, which is uh, different music in the anime. We have the core block right there, displayed on the uh, Falcon base. There we go. And we have the famous electromagnetic V at the back of the Falcon base. Alrighty, ladies and gents, let's head on to the music. But first, we have to... S Slide the switch to the left to turn it on. There we go. And number one would be the theme song of the Voltis 5. And the second one would be the music when the fighting monsters are entering the scene. Third would be the music when the five volt machines are forming into V formation.
fourth would be the music when they are in panic or in desperate and also thinking what to do next and last here we go number five ten kuken or laser sword in english version and also this is the music when they are v slashing their enemy there we go how awesome is that alrighty let's bolt in This Multis 5 has another feature where you press this in a combination of this uh, button right here. It will give you Steve or Kenichi in Japanese voice in calling uh, several of the Multis 5's weapon.
Alright guys, this is the Voltus Heavy Tank Mode. It's a massive fortress. It's just a height comparison. Here is a perfect grade GP01 and a master grade RX78. And we have a 1 6 scale Gordon from Hoplife. So there you have it, DX Voltus 5, the premium of all Voltus 5. So I hope you guys like my review. Please hit the like button, share, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Alrighty, until next time, bye bye.